Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Welcome to the tour of the Mission Thrift on Hamilton Mountain. This used to be a Canadian tire store previously, and they're using the front window space in, in an interesting manner. These are all the newer items at the front. Then they have a corner for the books that they're selling. As you can see here, including a piano from the looks of it this time. And uh, a little seating area so you can have to check them. A whole section for shoes and a large area to the left of clothing starting with women's generally here I found a number of Hawaiian shirts we'll see them in a moment um, regret not getting them I didn't realize it right off the bat that all clothing was a dollar I would have picked up all three of them if I didn't own that the price was okay for one, but I wasn't going to get three at that kind of price, but I would have got all three at one dollar. A mushroom bracket for the wall, if you list, like this kind of thing, where I think we've got our collection of these already, not of that design, but we have a whole bunch. Usual selection of plates. Um, over here, the magpie eye sees this bright melamine little boat now on closer examination i noticed that the tip at the bow had been sanded down it must have had a little bit more of a different shape originally so it didn't come home and off we go there's a nice selection of furniture to look at small statuary and we even found some blue mountain as a Canada goose not a very big one nice size there they were busy that day uh, not so much in the the light fixtures They had a bit of a dearth of uh, paintings, more light fixtures here, these <coughs> builder types. A few crock pots, carafes, this is probably a, one of these kind of stores are best for getting a replacement carafe. Once you've got the carafe, uh, we've taking a look over at these the Dollarama popsicle sticks are actually being sold for less than what they sell at Dollarama and these guys have got uh, some respect for the folks who are actually buying here I've seen other places where they charge more than Dollarama which is silly there's actually uh, face uh, groups around so, greeting cards gift bags all sorts of related items of uh, paintings photograph uh, artwork plain frames and they do some interesting sale prices on stuff too now if you need a variety of different kind of frames to look for not a bad place to look you may not always want the artwork that's in them but the matting and framing is often far more valuable than the artwork inside so you could have a nice piece of uh, artwork at home looking for a frame and here you might get some luck bit of a triptych there and onto the what they consider more valuable books and an interesting little sign about somebody's 60th birthday party 
a few years ago. Now, in general, these have uh, a printout of some, whether it's Amazon or ABE books, and what they found as a value for them. They're not asking for that amount for it, but they are asking more than just the dollar or three that they do for most of their other books. So you may find one. Now, I suspect that they, they didn't take into consideration in their pricing that these books that they that, that are online, they're usually higher priced, sure, but they're also in far better condition in most cases. So you have to take this their pricing with a bit of a grain of salt. So yeah, you can you might get a deal. I'm not saying you won't, but at least they've separated them from the the other things. So you may be able to find them a little faster than going weeding through the other books. Although, you, if you're really looking for books over there, you may well find some gems over there as well. Anyway, thanks for joining me on this tour, and I hope you subscribe. Take care, folks. <laughs>